What's up YouTube, Playmatter here, and in today's video I'm going to be bringing you my first deck profile from the first tournament of the 2018-19 season of Pokemon. Now I haven't been at a tournament for quite some time, uh, and uh, I didn't do that well. I did only lose one game, but I had like three draws, so it was a bit of a mess, and only one win. As I get more practiced and a bit better at the game, in general, uh, I'll go into time less, because I'll know how my deck works, I'll know other people's decks much better, and... Uh, and hopefully won't go into time as much and won't end up uh, drawing quite so much. However, the deck did a lot better in testing. Uh, it did go 17 wins out of 20, which I was quite impressed with. Uh, a lot of those matchups were against Zoroark. And I did beat a Zoroark in round one. Um, and then after that, I played three different Malamar decks and then a uh, Buzzwall. And that wasn't great for me because um, the Buzzwall was maining uh, a Mewtwo GX as well, so he could um, he could basically just do big damage to my Psychic uh, Pokemon uh, for weakness damage, and um, and he didn't bring out his Buzzwall very often. We did draw uh, we drew against each other though actually did uh, me and Buzzwall, and uh, and I probably should have won game three if I'd have played again a little bit faster. But never mind, I'm sure I'll have better uh, results to bring to you later on in the year when I'm uh, more practiced and. Uh, I'm playing a more competitive sort of top tier deck if you like. Um, this was a bit of a meta call really, uh, a lot of the choices in it are because I was expecting there to just be like three or four Zoroark decks and uh, wasn't really expecting Melamar to be like the deck I'd play three of, you know. Um, so th the choices in the deck are, are based on the fact that uh, I was expecting to go against the Zoroark and, and Buzzwall with like and rock sort of stuff going on. Um, but yeah, so I'll take you through the profile now. So I'll start off with the Pokemon and the more obvious ones. Uh, I played two Tapu Lily. I was playing three, but I cut one for a, a bit of a tech choice um, for Trubbish. And then I played two of each Garbodor um, to lock down an ability and to punish item usage on trash, using Trash Lunch. Two Energy Evolution Eevees and two Espeon GXs. Uh, I played one Drampa. GX. Um, I managed to resolve uh, Big Wheel GX uh, two or three times in the day, uh, where nobody had the end, so I just had ten cards in hand for the next turn, which was really good. Um, and uh, I, I got end. I got end once against the Buzzwall player. Um, so no, yeah, he was really good. And then Righteous Edge was knocking off um, lots of the special energies that people were playing. And then Taurus was the card I took the Tapu Lily out for. Um, because then with the Hontak for 60, I did take quite a few early game pri uh, prize cards and, uh, and knock out sort of, you know, the baby Pokemon, um, like the Inkays and stuff that I ended up going against. Um, it would have been a lot more ideal to go against more Zoroark. And I've got Hyper Ball, no, two, two Ultra Balls, <laughs> uh, two Mysterious Treasure. Um, I didn't have four. I would have played four, I think. Uh, I was often discarding Ultra Ball for Mysterious Treasure. Um, but I picked two, two more for the tournament anyway. So, uh, and then we've got uh, one rescue structure, two field blower, four choice band, four float stone. Just didn't want to basically uh, lose out on resources to field blowers, and just wanted to always make sure that I could. Um, Reattached to the uh, Garbodor, Garbotoxin. Uh, two Parallel City. Then we have four uh, Doppel Fire Bloss Energy. <laughs> uh, eight, eight Psychic Energy. And then onto the uh, supporters. Uh, two Bridget. Um, I played four N. I wasn't quite sure on my Guzma numbers, but in the end I went for three Guzma. Three Professor Sycamore. And then I went for one Acerola. Uh, she was really good all day. Um, definitely managed to deny prizes with that, um, resulting in draws rather than losses. Uh, Haller. Um, I, I always used the GXs, and so I always had Haller in hand when I'd already used my GX. And uh, yeah, getting shuffled for seven was really good. And then uh, one copy of Lily. 
So there we go, that was my Espeon Garb deck. Obviously, I probably will be playing something completely different. Uh, Celestial Storm sneak peeks being this weekend and, and next weekend. Uh, there's all sorts of new stuff coming out, and we've got rotation. So uh, I think most likely I'll be playing a Zorark Makago deck. Um, I haven't decided whether I'm just going to stick with the baby Makago or whether I like the uh, GX enough to use it as my main attacker, but we'll see. I have got a uh, firm belief that some form of, of Zoroark is the deck I will use to qualify for Worlds with uh, in 2019. There are a few things to mention. Uh, there was the um, giveaway video a couple of weeks ago. Um, there were only two people that entered, which was a little bit uh, disappointing, but uh, I flipped the coin and uh, one person won, one person uh, did not, and I've given that the winner their prize uh, already. Um, so just if you wanted to know uh, any updates on that one. Finally, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone in year six. Uh, best of luck for high school. Um, well done. Your leavers assembly was brilliant. You worked really hard and you deserve a really nice long rest now. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and maybe leave a comment as to what sort of videos you'd like to see next. Till next time, Play Matter, signing out.